Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5, and today we are going to be seeing how crazy we can go with the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in terms of a custom build. Now, this is going to involve a little bit of, like, race-focused building, some just over-the-top, like, lunacy-level stuff, and some off-road, just exploration-level stuff. So, right off the bat, we're gonna head straight into the shop. Not that way. That way. That's the right way. Custom upgrades, and I want to see what engine swaps we can do, because I kind of want to get the v6 out of here now we've got the stock powertrain we've also got a 7.4 liter v8 twin turbo now ironically you could build the stock v6 or you could go for 1750 horsepower right off the bat but you can't really adjust anything else and you know i'm kind of inclined to uh yeah, go for the 1750 horsepower one. I mean, if that's if that's the only option they're going to give us, I feel like that's really the only way we can go. Now, off-road race tires are going to absolutely be a thing, and they're also going to be quite wide. 315s in the front and 315s in the back, and then from there, we're going to throw some aftermarket wheels on it. Now, for the aftermarket wheels on the Gladiator, I'm thinking those KMC wheels would look really good on here. I just want to make sure that I can find them. Now, I, I was thinking about using some kind of off-the-wall, like, weird wheels. I, I didn't know if that was going to be the right way to go with it, but I actually... Now I'm kind of... Now that I've seen them on the Jeep, I don't necessarily know if I want to go with the KMCs anymore. Now that I've seen the way these welds look, I might go with those. I, I think that's what we're going to do. I, <laughs> I like that a lot. Now, I'm not going to up the size at all, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go through all of the, like, suspension and handling. I'm going to throw some race brakes on it. I'm going to throw some rally suspension on it. That way we can have access to full tuning. And I'm going to throw some race sway bars on them so that when we go to tune it, we could actually, like, basically tune it to have full flex if we wanted to. Now, race weight reduction is also going to be a thing and let's see where we're sitting right now in terms of like in terms of performance s1878 after a clutch now i wonder is that gonna get us uh, i'm thinking well let's say seven speed for now for now we'll say seven speed it's near the top of s class it's not necessarily going to be let's see sport race Rally and drift. Let's say, I guess rally is going to be as close as we can get to like a proper off-road setup. Now, arrow and appearance. Let's see. The front. Oh, that's cool. It's going to get some like spotlights. That's not necessarily anything like over the top, but it's cool that it's there. Now, let's see. Yo, we've got, we've got like a bed rack with a light bar from uh, Addictive Desert Designs. That's pretty sick. And then you could also do a Forza one, which gives you a spare tire carrier. And you could do, oh, okay, so that's with the Addictive Desert Designs, um, basically rack with the light bar. And then this one is the same, but without it. So how about we go with, how about we go with this setup? I know it's like a little bit of an interesting combination, but I think it works. And, oh, dude, I love the Addictive Desert Designs doors. That's awesome. What is, uh, oh, sliders. Yo, or you could do them as, like, a total package with the ADD doors and sliders. I freaking love that, and it looks sick. Now, what? Okay, you can actually, like, take the top off in the shop. That's awesome. I love that. I know it kind of blocks the light bar from being able to be used, but hey, what the heck? I mean, we're building a gladiator. We might as well just take the top off. I'm down for that. Now, I will say, I kind of wish that we could, like, do something with that front bumper situation, but still, this thing looks amazing as it sits. Now, I know it's not quite maxed out for uh, for S-Class. It's 873, but it's it's close. It's getting there. It's not necessarily being built for, like, a being an ultra-competitive online racer, but it's more being built to be something that would be fun to drive and also would be fun to use in terms of exploration. Now, let's go into the custom tuning real quick. Uh, oh, my God, that tire pressure is very low. Um, let's see. So, uh, sway bars, I'm going to make them not exist. Now, when I say not exist, I mean not exist in terms of, like, I'm tuning them to be as soft as they can humanly possibly be. And the, uh, let's see, the balance, I'll probably make it, like, 65% rear. And then I will make it 100% locked on acceleration in the rear. And I'll make it probably, I don't know, let's say, uh, let's start with, like, the only thing is locking the front like that would make it make it turn weird. So let's go like, I don't know, let's go 30 in the front and see how that feels. 
You can either go 31 or 29. Uh, take your pick. Um, but now, let's go ahead and go to the paint shop because I do want to see what kind of colors they have available for this thing. And I might want to change it up just a bit. Ooh. Dude, the orange looks great. So does the blue, though. I mean, I know that these are just stock colors, but man, that orange looks awesome. It looks really, really, really good. And I think what I may do as well is I may, let's see, outer lip. Is that going to do the whole beadlock ring? Or, yes, it is. Okay, so that means I am going to try to, it's like a really bright orange. Actually, that's a better match than it has any right to be. And then the brakes although you can't really see them, are going to get the same orange treatment. Now, I know that that wasn't really an in-depth paint job. I'm not necessarily a livery guy. I don't spend a lot of time in the paint shop, partially because I like to drive and partially because I'm not very good at it, but don't tell anybody. Um, so now, we're going to head out of the garage with our brand new, fully built Jeep Gladiator to see what this thing is like to drive. Now, I can't really raise the ride height up any more than it already is, but I did, like I said before, um, make it have as much flex as I humanly possibly could. So let's see if we can flex this thing out on a rock and get a photo of it, because that's what you do with a Jeep, right? All right, let's see. I was actually more, it was more interested in flexing there than I thought it would be. That's not really what I wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of the view I was gonna, like, I was going for, but let's see what this looks like in photo mode. Now, let me go ahead and get rid of the HUD. It doesn't look terrible, actually. It doesn't look terrible at all. I kind of, I kind of dig it, actually. I, I think it looks pretty sick. Now, one thing that I will say, though, about the Gladiator is that I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find an area that'll really twist up the suspension so we can really get a good look at how it, how the, like, the flex of the suspension actually looks when you're flexing it, like, opposite directions. But let's see if it'll climb up this rock pile. Let's do some Jeep things with it. Caught on the front bumper right now. It's not that it doesn't have grip. It has grip. It just got very, very, very caught on the front bumper. Bad line for me. Oh, you really don't want to go up there, do you? Okay. All right. Speed and power. Well, that got us a little bit further, but we are once again caught on the bumper. Oh, oh, oh. We're making some... We're making some headway, actually. I'm, like, spinning away 1,700 horsepower in fourth gear going up these rocks. This is probably not the best place for me to be. All right, so we're going to actually jump back to the festival, and we're going to find a different set of objectives because, or not really objectives, but different set of obstacles because clearly it doesn't like that set of obstacles. Now, I mean, I guess you can't blame me, though. I'm try I was just wanting to try it. Now, let's head for, oh, my God. This thing is, like, this thing is wild to drive. It's, it feels way faster than the Ram Power Wagon that I ironically put the exact same engine setup in. I was kind of hoping that they would let you swap in the Power Stroke Diesel, the 6.7 Power Stroke, into this thing. But I kind of also understand why they wouldn't let you do that. Now, let's ease our way. Oh, I say ease. This thing carries, or at least maybe it doesn't carry more pace than the Ram, but it sure as heck feels like it does. Oh my god. Dude, can you imagine, like, running from people in, like, Eliminator in this thing? Ow. Now, granted, you probably wouldn't be able to have, unless it was a automatic upgrade, you know, you probably wouldn't be able to have this engine set up in a Gladiator in, you know, Eliminator anyway. But, like, dude, if you did, oh, I would take this over so many choices in Eliminator mode. Man, this thing is wild. And it looks, oh, it looks even better in the air, I bet you. Oh, dude. Oh, it looks so sick in the air. <laughs> it looks so good in the air. I can't get over how good the doors look. The doors look awesome. Now, for those of you that know where this mountain road goes, um, you may know what we are setting this gladiator up for. Now, for those of you that don't, sit tight and you will find out. Now, there is a danger sign jump up here that I'm going to try to get three stars on, and I have a feeling that this thing just might be able to do it if we give ourselves enough of a run-up, considering the fact that, well, it's, you know, it's going to need a bit of a run-up to get up to that level of speed. Oh, no. All right, so there's the danger sign jump. Let's get turned around. All right, we're going to need all the run-up we can get for this, bro. Easy. 
See? The only problem with it is that you do have this awkward corner that you have to come in from, so... Now let's drift around them. Oh my god. Push you out of the way. Yep. Excuse me, Mitsubishi Galant. Don't need you in my way anymore. Thank you. I'm gonna get back on the ground as quick as I can, because time spent in the air is time not spent accelerating. Like 160 off the jump. I don't think that's gonna be... I don't think that's gonna be worth three stars. I really don't. Oh, I really don't. 1577. It's a new PB, but I doubt it's a three star. 73 more feet, bro. We were so close. Okay, well, at least at this point, I know that this thing would be capable of doing it. We just need to actually come back and really properly send it and also probably retune the gearbox a little bit just to give us a little bit more speed. But, like, man, you want to talk about something that can rampage across the desert. This will give you all of the desert rampaging abilities you could have ever wanted. Oh, my God. I am so internally mad that I missed that uh, freaking bonus board. I will be back for that ASAP. But if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this build of a 1,700-plus horsepower Jeep Gladiator in Forza Horizon 5, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.